So the next thing we're going to work on is the uh, carrying case. I need to put the uh, reflector on. I was going to put some lights in there, but I'm talking myself out of it. So I need to reassemble that whole thing. So that's what we're doing today. Alright, so this is all the mounting hardware, that thing, this is a collection of screws, nuts and washers. Inside here we have the red lens, the bag is full of uh, uh, marker lights for semi-trucks, uh, I could deal on them, I don't know, 20 of them. Or something like that for like five dollars they're so cheap so then there's a pack ah oh, man i'm gonna have to paint that and how nasty that looks all right every time i think i'm done painting something else pops up i got paint so the idea is i took the lens off of the uh, marker lights and uh, this is what you're left with so I'm going to mount these here and then put the lens over the top of it I hope I have enough room so don't know if I'm going to have enough room uh, I think there's a little flexibility in this. I can, looks like I can break the plastic right here. So, all right, we can do that. Um, let's give it a try, see what happens. Two-faced tape, maybe? I don't know. Trying to figure out if I should peel the LED strip off of this plastic because that strip seems to be flexible. It's got two little holes. I could screw those and get rid of this plastic. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I just don't know how to get my how to get the wires through. Well, well then don't get a screwdriver. Stupid thing. See how I'm pulling the sheeting away from the wires in here? Sheesh. 
too. Well, can't find my wire cutters. I'm going to cut it off about there. And let the black plastic part act like a stripper. Hopefully, it'll let me pull the wires out. Pull the shielding off. Red. Red is on the side with the Oh, resistor, whatever that is. There we go. Sweet. They gave me this foam with tape on it. So I'm going to stick it through here. That's how I'm going to do it. Couple of teeny little screws. Ooh, zip, zip, right in them little holes. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just get myself some Too Faced tape. I got some really good stuff in the basement. But I have to re solder the wires on here. So, uh, let me get that done. I'll bring you back. All right, so I'm doing about three feet of uh, this multicolor black and white uh, wire I have here. Uh, big enough to carry the voltage for those bulbs. So I'm going to solder them on there. I got to find my shrink wrap. Maybe I'll throw a screw through there. I don't think so. I'll leave it. If I can sticky tape it. If I got a solder, the soldering iron is heating up. So I got to solder this together. Wonderful. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do a liquid seal, uh, flex seal, on my electrical connector. Right here. Just going to glob it all onto there. Yeah, baby. That's exactly what Plasti Dip was made for. Electrical connectors. It's an electrical or a, a rubberized liquid. And when it dries, it has the same non conductive properties. So we're going to let that dry and uh, come back to it. See how it turns up. While the electrical dries, I'll uh, reassemble this lock assembly. Somehow it goes together. That, a couple of screws, a couple of nuts. If I only knew where the screws and nuts were, I'd be all set. I 
I do not have a key for this trunk. It's a bummer. I would like to have one. I took it to a locksmith to have him make a key for me and he wanted like $40. Uh, I only paid twenty dollars for the whole damn thing, so I was like, "Yeah, I don't think I really, really, really need it." So. I'm gonna do it up. No, you can't see what I'm doing. Sweet. Let's get down a little tighter. As soon as my uh, electrical lights dry, so I'll let them sit overnight. I'm going to punch a couple of holes here for the wires to go through. And then I'm going to uh, mount all this back together. I'll have some lights. Now, question is, should I do it as a brake light? or should I do them as turn signals? So, you know, on a scooter, anything that you can do to make yourself be seen is a positive. So, all right, so I changed my mind a little bit. I'm gonna take this foam uh, padding that came with the original marker lights find one here so the padding came to stick these on so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the old flex seal I'm going to flex seal the entire rubber thing onto the foam and glue that on there that way I can peel off this tape and stick the whole thing onto the I the bike. So let's do that. The flex seal that's on there has been on there for about an hour and a half. Something like that. What do you think? Too heavy duty? I like it. I'll let that dry. See what happens. All right, let's see if that works. Don't let them dry overnight. So it's uh, dried overnight. 
Let's see what we have here. All right. A little stuck on the back. All right. I think I can work with that. Let's see what happens. I got some wire stripped. Stay there. Uh-oh. So, I, for some reason, did not know it was going to be orange. It has an orange lens. But I didn't think the LED was orange. You see, the LEDs are orange, but I didn't think they would actually be orange. So, this is the question. Put it behind a red lens, and what do you get? I say so. All right, that's red. Does it seem too out of the ordinary? Cool. I'm going to use them like that. So now the next thing to do. Is the mount them right inside here. So, I have to figure out where to put the hole for this wire. I might have to use a ruler. I am going to use a stepper drill because it's plastic. I am not a fan of the, st of the stepper drill. But in this case, it seems to make sense. I'm going to bring you over on this side. So I'm not standing in front of you. There you go. All right, let's see what happens. All right, about as bad as I thought. What I'm going to do is drill a hole above and below and use a zip tie to hold it in place. I hate peeling off this sticker paper. It's one of my least favorite things to do. All right, I like it.
here. Not bad. And I'm gonna go with the uh, brake light option on this one. Next thing, this guy. Wonderful. four screws that hold on the red lens in front. Okay, not good. Always one. All right, so I think that's going to work fine for my purposes. Just have to mount it on the scooter now. I think that's all that's left to do. I'm going to mount the uh, luggage rack on here. Just uh, a couple of screws, a couple of brackets. All right, what do you think? I think it looks all right. Just gotta rewire the lights. So, all right, that's where I'm gonna end the episode. Uh, next thing I'm doing are all the side panels. The first thing I'm gonna do is the floor mat. And then I'm going to do the instrument panel, headlights. Uh, that'll make it street legal. And I'm going to go for a ride. So, thanks for hanging out. Subscribe. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Ask a question. Sweet. Okay. Bye-bye.